My quilter's chalk line comes with a chalk box that is just like a carpenter's chalk wheel. I'm going to show you how we use it for quilting and how we've modified it to be better for quilters. The chalk line comes with its bottle of iron erasable chalk and you fill the chalk line using the rubber door here on the side of the chalk box. If we open that up we can refill that with the powdered chalk. Now the powdered chalk is wonderful. When we have any other tool that takes powdered chalk, this tool you can lift up the top and fill it with powdered chalk and the dispenser bottle makes that very easy to fill. Now you'll notice I'm making a big mess on my board here but it's very easy to clean up because it's iron erasable chalk and one swipe of the iron is going to take all that powder and dust and make it go away. So let me show you how we use this tool that's like a carpenter's chalk line. The chalk is inside the box and the line inside picks up the chalk as it rolls out of the tool. Now I've had them put a special line inside the box. That line is thicker and it's woven so that the chalk is not released on the first snap and you're able to get many lines without winding up your tool and getting chalk back on that line. So I have placed T-pins onto a gridded mat. This one is an ironing mat which makes it very helpful. You can also use a larger mat that's made out of cardboard and those are available at most of your fabric stores. And I use those cardboard grids whenever I'm marking a quilt top. Because it's much larger, it unfolds to be quite, quite big, you can put a good size quilt top on there and then you can use these lines in order to line up your applique designs. But today we're going to use this a little differently. You can see there's a lot of chalk on the surface, but once again, all of those lines are going to disappear when you use your iron. So this is a great time to line up your applique pieces, or in this case, I'm going to use these grid lines in order to mark a quilting design for my quilt. So I'm going to use the chalk wheel that I filled with the iron erasable chalk, and I'm going to use that along the edge of my leaves galore template. Now if I mark in one direction and then turn the tool and mark in the opposite direction, I can get a clamshell pattern for quilting. Now I love quilting this clamshell pattern. It makes a beautiful quilt by itself as a background filler design. And these curves just run parallel to each other. So you mark in one direction and then you just keep pulling the tool straight over to mark in the opposite direction. That gives you your clamshell quilting design. And if that's not enough quilting for you, you can go back in and slide the tool up by one full leaf shape. Use that line that you've already marked and the dash line on the tool to line up the next line you're going to mark. And you can mark that quilt in both directions using the, I call it teacup quilting, or some people call it an orange peel quilting design. So this makes wonderful quilting designs. The tools are very versatile, versatile and can be used for many different reasons. Now the best part about this is when your quilting is all done, your quilting will take off a lot of that powdered chalk, but you can see it stays on quite well. So you can get all of your quilting done. If there's any remaining chalk after your quilting is complete, you can rub it with a microfiber cloth or you can very lightly touch it with a travel iron, a small iron, and get rid of all of that chalk. Whenever I'm squaring up a quilt and I need to put my binding on, this is a wonderful method to square up the quilts as well. I place the quilt on my floor. I use the floor in my basement, which is carpeted, and I'm able to put the T-pins right into uh, the carpet 
and I can square up the edges of my quilt. I'm just going to bring that T-pin out as far as I can so I don't trim much off of my quilt. Then I'm going to make sure that my next line is perpendicular to the first. I would place a large square template right here in the corner and make sure that the first line and the second runs right along that square. This line is 30 feet long and you can square up the entire si side of your quilt with one snap of that chalk line before you ever pick up your rotary cutter. That way you know your square is your quilt is perfectly square and the edges are straight before you ever cut off a thing. So this is a wonderful tool to have in your workroom and I hope that you will visit me at suepelindesigns.com to get your very own quilter's chalk line.